Hi everybody, this is Steve White with NovelDog.com and what I've got for you here is three, excuse me, four examples of Save the Cat moments, particular scenes uh, in four separate movies that illustrate a core of redeemability in a, in a main character that makes the audience feel like, okay, this is a character that maybe I would want to watch. If you're not familiar with Blake Snyder or Save the Cat scenes, look it up because here we go. First movie, Aladdin. The problem with Aladdin is it's a story about a thief. He steals. That's what he does. So why would the audience care to watch a story about a thief? Well, the writers knew that, so they created this. Here. Go on, take it. <laughs> okay, so maybe this Aladdin guy isn't so bad. Maybe we can get behind this story and enjoy it. But uh, they're not done yet. He saved the cat once. We can see he's an alright guy. But the writers are going to drive this home and have him save the cat again. On his way to the palace, I suppose. Another suitor for the princess. <laughs> Out of my way, you filthy brats! Hey! If I were as rich as you, I could afford some manners. Oh, I'll teach you some manners! <laughs> Aladdin is actually one of the examples that Blake mentions in his book. Uh, the other one is this one here, a movie called Sea of Love. Bad news wins. Uh, the Yanks can't make it here, guys. You can't make it over to the stadium, Blake. We got 45 outstanding warrants eating our pancakes here. And on behalf of the New York Yankees and the New York City Career Criminals Investigation, you are all under arrest. Sorry, guys, we got you. Yo, what's the good news, money? Good news is coming round. Yo, yo, excuse me. I'd like to propose a toast. So Al Pacino, sneaky cop, fools all these bad guys into uh, getting arrested, and he busts all of them. Okay, but wait, here's the moment, here's the scene, watch this. Anyway, congratulations. Hey, am I too late? You got an invitation? Yeah. Who's this? That's my son. Ernest Lee, invitations for you only. Well, I can hardly meet Dave Winfield without taking my boy. Oh, yeah, you got ID, Ernest? Yeah. Grand Theft Auto, two pounds. We're all booked up, Ernest. Hey, hey, man, I got an invite. I said we're all booked up. All right. Thanks, man. Catch you later. Next is David Mamet's Heist, one of my all-time favorites. This is a uh, jewel thief, master thief. Gene Hackman is uh, uh, conducting this robbery. And in this movie, the Save the Cat scene actually functions as the catalyst. Gene Hackman shows a little mercy on this woman in the jewelry store, and that's what the whole movie revolves around. Because he chooses to spare her life, he gets caught on video camera, security camera, and that's where the trouble really starts. Everyone's unconscious from their drugged cappuccinos, except for this woman who didn't drink hers. Thanks. 
Thank God you're there. I need your help. There's been an explosion. Pick up the phone. Nice. Pick up the phone and dial 911. <laughs> And now another one of my all-time favorites, and everyone else's too, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones is just betrayed here by uh, one of his guides in Peru. So he's got no reason to trust or even care about the other guide, right? And yet... Stop. Stay out of the light. If I was him, I wouldn't even go in there with this other guy. But Indiana Jones does, and in fact, goes on to save him. It's a save the cat scene right here. And saves him again. There's nothing to fear here. That's what scares me. And saves him again. That's it. Thanks for watching.